Hi everyone, my name is Michael Fergano II. You can find me on Twitter at edtechnocation.com and online at www.edtechnocation.com. Today I'm going to share with you one of my uh, most useful Google Classroom tips, I think, and that is uh, what I like to call, so you forgot to make a copy. And uh, let's be honest, uh, even, even I um, often make this mistake um, when using Google Classroom in, uh, with my students. And that is, I uh, sometimes in my haste to get the assignment posted, I forget to, to choose the make a copy for each student option. Let me show you what this means. Now, I've got an example here, example assignment. And I've, let's say, um, you know, along with the title and the instructions for the assignment, I've also got a Google slide presentation that I've made for my students. And my intention here is to give each of them their own copy of this Google slide presentation for them to work on and then turn in. Now, for that copying to happen, I would have to come over here and choose make a copy for each student. But sometimes in my rush to get this posted before the students walk in the door, I'll set up my assignment, um, pretty much get everything else the way I want it, and then I'll quickly come over here and assign it. I'm thinking like, okay, I've got it done, and my students are gonna get access to it, they can all jump in there and get right to work on the presentation. And then I realize that I forgot to have it make a copy for each student. Now, that's how it happens a lot. I see this question pop up in uh, the uh, Google Apps for Education forum all the time. You know, why didn't my, my assignment give my students the copies that I wanted them to have? And oftentimes, it's because we forget to choose that option. Now, you may think, oh, I made a mistake, I can go back in and I can edit it and fix it. That's the first thing that most teachers try. They'll come up to the menu item here in the assignment, click on the edit button, and you think you'd be able to go back to the, the slide attachment here and go to this menu option and see that make a copy for each student um, option there, but it's not available after you assign an assignment. That third option disappears completely. And now we're in full panic mode. How the heck do I get these copies to my students? So the second uh, thing that a teacher may jump, jump to uh, hastily and trying to fix this mistake is you might come back up to the menu and delete the whole thing to start all over again. But that's not what I want you to do. There are a couple of really quick steps to quickly fix the mistake and recover this assignment and set it up the way you want to without um, making too much of a mess. So, you can quickly fix your mistake and recover your assignment in just four easy steps. Step one, as I mentioned previously, do not delete the mistake assignment yet. Keep it. Because in step two, you're going to reuse that uh, uh, incorrect assignment. Okay? And to reuse post, you may start off at the classroom selection screen, so you want to find your, the classroom that the post exists in, and then that mistake assignment should be at the top of the list. You're going to select that assignment and you're going to reuse it. And what that does is going to create a brand new copy of that assignment that you uh, just made. It's going to pull in the same title, same instructions, all the other settings, including that attachment. But this time, step three, you want to make the correct choice in the menu for the attachment, which is make a copy for each student. So I'm going to do that, ensuring that each of my kids will receive their own copy. Then I'm going to assign this brand new post. And uh, you may realize or understand that yes, there will be two similar assignments posted to the stream at this point. But in step four, now you can delete the old assignment. So get rid of it, get rid of that mistake and you're left with the correct assignment with the attachment in which each student will get a, their own copy. And if you catch your mistake uh, soon enough, then there should be not too much damage and chaos uh, with your students. They'll, they'll likely see two assignments there momentarily. Once you get rid of the old incorrect one, they'll be left with the new uh, correct one in which they'll have their own copy of the attachment. Thanks for watching. Uh, find me online at edtechnocation.com and on Twitter at edtechnocation.